Hello everyone and welcome back to PE Academy. So this is um, the video series on that oblique projection and this is the drawing 4. So if you missed the last 3 drawings, uh, kindly check the description of this video, you'll find a link to uh, those other drawings. And if you are new here, please consider clicking on that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. This channel I share most of uh, mostly technical drawings and um, topics on that math, physics, uh, chemistry and other engineering topics generally. Alright, so let's replicate this isometric drawing like what we are having here i'm going to be showing you how to replicate this um, in, uh, this did i just mention isometric sorry oblique oblique all right so let's get started okay so don't forget we are dealing with oblique so so i'm if i mentioned isometric before please sorry for that so i may not have enough time to edit parts I mentioned isometric but hey we are dealing with up all right so I've drawn my straight line so the length from here to here is given to be 55 mm which is 5.5 so let me just mark that part that we're going to be using on that line which is 5.5 centimeter all right so that's let me pick it from here So I want to believe this, uh, if you have watched the last three uh, videos and you have also practiced, this step should be very very easy for you right now. And if at all you are having any challenges or any questions, uh, do leave them in the comment section below. I reply to all comments and questions. So, and even if you have a question for me outside what I'm doing or a video request, you can also uh, leave them in the comment section below. All right. Um, I just noticed something here. All right, this is actually six. This is actually six. Yes, I was looking at this is smaller. So the length from here is from here to here is actually six centimeter, not uh, not five point five. So let's just. So what I'll just do is let me just take off this line and adjust it on the right. So this is this six. This is six. So from here to here is fifty five. And there's another five here, which is the length from here to here that makes it 60 60 mm. Okay, all right, all right. So we are back on track. So the next thing we want to measure the height of this is 20 from here to here, 20 mm, which is two centimeter. So Centimeter here, and on this part here we have our two centimeter. Also, on this line, I hope you can see it. On this line, so the total length is uh, we have 10, 10, and 15. That's then 35, which is 3.5. So let's mark it 35 and divide it appropriately. So from here to here that's 10 and then 15 and then 10. So don't get yourself confused. So I'm starting from here. From here that 1, 2, 3.5 and I've divided it. So from here to here is 10, from here 15 and 10. Alright, so So 
let me draw this also with a thin line. And from this point I marked earlier, right here. So I'll draw a line to touch the one at the top. So I can just make it bold. Any value, please give it a thumbs up. Click on that like button. Okay. All right. So, so let me also draw. That's for this place from here to here. To draw a line from here we mentioned earlier we got to this point and this point so let me just join them together so so i've already put the other t square on it so i can just slide it to this point so when when it gets to this point i'll draw a line to come and touch this line and that will automatically give us six centimeter if everything is correct so if uh, if the lines are parallel and then it should give us six centimeter so if you, if you look i didn't measure it but by the fact for the fact that it is parallel so let's look at it so if you look at it from 6 to 12, that's 6 cm. So so Alright, so um, my camera went off while recording. So this is this is the end result of this public. So I think it's, it stopped somewhere here when I was drawing this line from here to here. So I make sure I draw an upper line from this point. That's what we're about this line. And then from here, I have this line. So what I did was I measured from here to here is 5 mm, as you can see from here, from the scale given. So this is 5 mm, I measured it here. So just make sure you use your protractor, I mean, sorry, your set square to get this line, this, this. So once you are done, you make the main diagram itself, you make it bold, so increase the thickness. And then with that, you'll be able to, to have this. So if you have been following the previous videos and the next video I'm going to be showing you, um, you won't have problem with it, even though uh, my camera went off um, before the end of the, of the video. So yeah, if you find value, please give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll be looking forward to see you in the next, uh, in the next drawing. In, so let me give you an idea what we're going to be looking for in, in the next drawing. So the next drawing, we are going to be drawing this uh, Olo box. So I've done something like this in isometric projection, the same dimension. Uh, but this is isometric, I mean this is uh, oblique rather. So I've done this in isometric, we'll be doing it in oblique, in oblique. Alright, so thank you very much and I'll see you all in the next one.